Wait, I don't think it'll pick us up down there. See you. Hey! Did you speak loud? Yeah. Do you want us to do like a... Hey! 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 There we go! There we are! It's right there! Action! Hi, <laughs> uh, my... Where do you want us looking? My name is Adam. I play keyboards, gardens. I'm Shane. I play bass. Chris. I uh, sing. play guitar. Levi. I play drums. <laughs> Do you want to talk about what inspired Dunes, Adam? Gosh, uh, we had been off the road for a long time when we were writing Dunes. We put out our first record in 2011 and we uh, toured it relentlessly. We got really exhausted, kind of lost touch with being at home and kind of started to identify more with being out and about and being on the road. And, uh, so Dunes was written kind of during a time when we were getting back and settled, finding apartments again, like reconnecting with friends and uh, reflecting on the previous two years when like all that kind of been disappeared for a long time. So that's kind of the context. And then thematically. Fanatically? Fanatic. Thematically. <laughs> I was a fanatic. <laughs> fanatically. We were fanatics at the time. The first record was all done live and in a room in Oregon, and this one, we're like, it would be cool if we took it a little more, I don't know, a little more hi-fi, a little more potentially dancier. So that was kind of our, our direction for Dunes. It was just a month in a studio in the colds of Michigan in February. Really cold. We were right on the lake, so you could like hear the wind like from anywhere in the studio. It's just like constantly like pounding on the doors of the studio. I think we went outside maybe like four or five times in 30 days. Chris and I shared a room and it was, it oh, turned out to be the haunted room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah seriously. There were sounds. Yeah. There, were sounds. there was this corner of the room where you, they had this kind of really cheesy, kind of almost preschool, kind of Halloween decoration of a skeleton. It was in the corner of this room and it happened to be the corner where all the darkness just kind of settled and all of the ambient lighting did not penetrate. Yeah. And there'd be nights where I'd be kind of curled over my side and I'd look over and this kind of shrouding darkness would just kind of like envelop the entire room and kind of there like almost bear nights. hug you. And there were a couple nights when I was feeling like it was super cold and, and I was like, Aah! it felt like someone was standing over me. It's and like then I would hear Shane go, ah! what was that? What was that? And then I was like, ah, I feel it too. Like, ah. It was really fun though. Like um, we, you know, being from California, um, we, in uh, previous uh, recording sessions, we, you know, it was like beautiful outside and it was, and we, there was all these distractions and like, uh, I don't want to sit inside and like make music, I want to go out there. It was nice in, in Michigan just to have complete isolation, um, no distractions other than like food. They had a huge VHS collection, so whenever we weren't recording we had like, we could watch like E.T. or like, Dragon Slayer or like Mad Max. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Blade, Blade Runner. Runner. Willow. Coincidentally, that's yeah. Dune. And Valley Girl. That was a good one. Yeah. Watch Valley Girl. What's your what are your favorite tracks on this new album? Like your I, whether it was recording it or writing it or my favorite's Echo Sassy. We, it was one of the last songs to make the cut before we left. It was birth and practice space almost two weeks before we left. And it's just really high energy and I feel like we captured it perfectly. And it just has this really good soundscape to it all. And it just, it really, I think we nailed it. I feel that's my favorite too, probably. It's Echo Sassy. My favorite's probably uh, Purple Mesa's. I feel like it's especially otherworldly. That's like kind of an eerie, uh, getting lost sensation. To yeah. I like that. Uh, um, it's the opening track. It's um, um, like that was a song that we had a lot of different versions of. In the studio, we just it broke down by two. All the different parts just change. You have like a sexy flower thing too on both albums. 
There are many sexy flowers. <laughs> Album three, who knows what flowers are. Yeah, there will be, there will be more <laughs> sexy flower songs. Um, Constantly. <laughs> But we're going to try and find a, a new home base in L.A. this summer. We want to record a record. We want to do it ourselves. Yeah. We want to put it out as soon as possible. Because we're the migration chomping time. at the bit to get these new songs that we can work on out. Yeah. Like, we have, like, at least at like two records of material right now. Yeah. We've been sitting on for a while, and we're all kind of, once we get off the road, we're going to get back into the studio. I'm really looking forward to getting back to to the beach for a few days as well. But but like there's something about the ocean like we haven't seen it for I haven't seen the Pacific Ocean for like three months, so I think it'll be a good time to uh, start siphoning through all the jams. It's like there's tons of rocks and shells on the shore. We just like need to come in the morning to cruise around and come up and be like, could this be a song? <laughs> It's a really beautiful portrait you just painted. Yeah, I know, I just got lost in that one. I know, everyone's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I was visualizing it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, yeah. cool. I won't keep you any longer locked in this Thank country. you. But thank you all for doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Invite us to do that.